Hello, we wanted to create a video to show you how to pull the materials off of the parish website and put them into your Google Drive correctly and then be able to put them into Google Classroom for your students. So we are going to come down here to um, this is on the Caddo Home Learning page. We're going to select the curriculum button. When you select curriculum, then it is going to open up into this page here and you are going to select the tab that you are wanting to go to. I'm going to select grade one for you. Then it opens up and it has all the different subjects that are available for grade one and only the week that we are currently in will be available at this time. So I'm going to click right here on week one for mathematics. When this opens up, it does say that it is in Drive, but this is a shared folder from Curriculum. So this is not your Drive. So please do not pull things out of this folder. You should not have permission to be able to do this, but just in case, do not take things out of this folder. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the day that you are wanting to access, double click on it and it will open up. So these are the materials for first grade, week one, math for day one. And so what we are going to do here is we are going to right click. We're going to hover over and right click on the file. And you will notice you have several options that pop up here. Do not click share or get a shareable link because students and parents do not have access to this folder. Only teachers are having access to this folder. So what you need to do is come down here to make a copy because what that's going to do is it's going to put your very own copy of this file into your drive. If you simply say add to my drive, that is not going to give you your own copy. It's still going to be the copy that belongs to Amanda Perry. So we're going to come down here and say make a copy. And notice it does not pop up here that I've made a copy. Down here it tells me that I have added a copy to my drive. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to the side and I'm going to go to my drive. And you will see that it says right here, copy of first day, uh, first grade day one home learning. So that is the assignment that I am wanting to add to my Google Classroom. Now, once you're doing this over and over, you're going to end up with several documents in here. So I would highly recommend that you come over here to the new button, select new, and then also select folder. So we are going to name this folder home learning. And I'm going to say create. And so then that adds me a home learning um, folder. So I'm going to double click in home learning. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add a new folder that says week one math. And I'm going to create. And then what I'm going to do is right here, I have this little drop down arrow and it shows me all of my folders inside my drive. So then on home learning, I'm going to click that little drop down for this and see now I can take this right here, this copy I just made and I can click it and drop it into that week one folder. And then all of my stuff is in there. Now you'll see in a minute why we wanted to organize that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the left hand side, the excuse me, the right hand side of my screen. And I'm going to select the nine dots right here that we call the Google waffle. And when you select those nine dots, you're going to be able to go straight into my classroom. And so this opens up your classroom. And you're going to select the class that you want in your classroom. <clears throat> 
And this allows you to um, post assignments to your class, um, post comments to your class. This is just your stream page, which is the main page your students see, but I'm gonna go to classwork and I'm gonna come right here to this create button and I'm gonna say create an assignment. And this allows your students to, I mean, this um, allows you to put your information and your materials in so that your students have access to it. So I'm going to call this math week one, day one assignment. So I'm going to give instructions to my students of, on what they're supposed to do. The instructions would go there. Then I'm going to come down here and this add button right here is going to allow me to pull that material from my Google Drive right here. Click Google Drive. This opens up and you see you have a recents tab. Well, the fact that we were just working with that material, um, this is the recent document that we have. and it is going to pop up and go into the student's um, Google assignment. Um, now this is, I do believe this is actually a lesson plan um, for this particular thing, but I'm just giving you an idea of how to do this. Um, if it was something that you wanted your students to be able to work on and individually um, have a copy of, you would click here and say, make a copy for each student. And then you're going to come over here. If you have multiple classes that you are um, sending this to, you would be able to click here. I only have one class in this um, account, so I only have one class to send it to. But if you have multiple classes, you would click right here in this area and it would allow you to choose the classes you wanted to send this assignment to. Right here is where you would click and you would be able to um, pick which students you wanted to send this particular assignment to. Right here is how you would change the point value. This is where you would set a due date um, and it pops up and it gives you a calendar that you can select from. And then right here, it gives you a, um, an option to add a topic. So right here, I'm going to say create a topic. And this topic is going to be called week one. And now I'm going to assign my assignment to my students. So it's thinking about it, thinking about assigning. Now you see that I have um, a week one topic and then I have my first assignment in here. Now, if I wanted to come in and add another topic, I can say add another topic week two. Well, when you do that, they come like this and you can simply um, drag and drop them in the right order. So that is how you go through going all the way from the website, saving it into your drive and organizing it, and then putting it onto Google Classroom. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We have right here on this page, <clears throat> at the bottom of the page down here, you will see that you have an option to send us a help ticket uh, re uh, request. There is also um, help ticket request on every page that is on the website. So if you have any questions, please feel free to send us a request and we will reach out and help you. Thank you.